Frytag Builders got just got done cleaning up this whole house, vacuuming up all the sheetrock dust with our brand new uh, 16 and a half gallon or 16 gallon, six and a half horsepower shop vac that I picked up at Lowe's. But uh, the real reason for today's video is I want to show you the setup on this brand new Graco spray gun. Let me flip the camera around and we'll get started. My old Graco Magnum, little 299 deal from Home Depot, he got tired on me yesterday and decided to lay down. Here's the new Graco 390 PC. And I'm gonna do a little video today on setting this baby up and uh, getting it going and show a little spraying with it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the hose to the uh, spray gun here. Let me cut everything off of here. And you're gonna need a 11 16th inch wrench unless you're gonna use a crescent wrench, which I don't have a crescent wrench with me. So I'm just gonna use a box in, 11 16th inch wrench here. First thing you're gonna need to remove these red caps, the protective caps off of the end of your hose. And this model comes with the Graco Blue Max 50 foot hose, where the cheaper homeowner models come with a 25 foot hose. So that's definitely a, a nice upgrade. All right, I've got to pop this stopper out of the filter assembly here. We'll pull it right out. And I'm gonna attach this directly on here. Probably it would be a good idea to put some thread tape on there. Let me look down in here and see what kind of fitting this is. Nope, it's a compression fitting with, a, with its own little gasket down in there. You probably don't need any thread tape. All right, and I'm just gonna attach that on and snug it up here with my 11 16th inch box end wrench. All right, then we're gonna open the gun here. It also comes with this uh, throat seal liquid. This is gonna be applied directly in the end here. There is a rod in the piston that goes directly up and down in this pump housing, and you'll wanna lubricate it with this throat seal liquid so that it keeps the paint off of there, keeps that uh, perfectly lubricated. So here it is, it comes with a little uh, brush right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trim this off of here with my, with my trusty old razor blade. This is just like a traditional pipe cleaner to clean out this right here whenever you're, uh, I suppose this has a filter on the end of it as well. All right, and I'm gonna take the other end of this hose and we'll directly connect this onto the gun. Okay guys, this is gonna swivel right here, so you're not just gonna be able to use your 11 16th inch here, but you'll have to have a three quarter inch as well to hold this swivel fitting as you use your 11 16th to tighten the hose on. Okay, there she goes, snugged up. All right, and as I was told at the paint store, um, this gun right here probably has some oil in it from the factory that I'm going, I'm going to run some water through this and I'm going to flush this out before I prime it up with my latex paint. The thing that you're want to, going to want to do before painting with this is you're going to want to take this throat seal liquid and let me flip this around here and you're going to want to put this directly in here and you're going to want to fill up the area right there where the rod and the uh, the packing nut is with the 
throat seal liquid before every single time that you're gonna spray. That's the first thing you wanna do. Let's talk about this gun here just for a second. Uh, this right here, I just wanna let you know, it comes with the 515 tip, and that's what we're gonna be spraying with today because uh, I'm gonna be priming the walls in the spec house here, and it's gonna be, I'm just gonna be spraying a quick application of this a uh, thicker primer and then I'm gonna back roll it on the walls. I've got the uh, the Graco 390 plugged in here and I've got the, uh, the suction tube down in this bucket of water and right here is where uh, the water is gonna come out of when I prime it. So I'm gonna reach back here to the back of the motor and I'm gonna turn it on and then I'm gonna reach right here to this knob and I'm gonna turn it just slowly to prime until the motor comes on. And there I'm gonna flush some water through this and get all of that uh, oil from the factory out of it. You wanna make sure that this lever right here is facing directly down to prime. And then once it's primed up, now it's filling the hose with pressure. Okay, so now the machine is, uh, it's on its lowest prime slow setting and it is uh, filled up, the, the hose right here. I need to straighten this hose out, but it's ready. I'm gonna spray a little bit on the side of this bucket right here, just to get all the air out of the line. All right, now I'm holding the trigger. I'm gonna let this cycle through a little bit and I actually spun the tip around backwards so it would make less of a mess. All right. I'm gonna turn the machine off. I'm gonna pull the tube back out here. And next we will uh, insert the siphon tube down into our primer. So now we've got the siphon tube down in the actual primer. I'm going to turn this button down again. Turn the pump back on. Make sure your knob's on the lowest setting. We'll crank it up just a little bit. Now I see a little bit of pipe coming through here. I'm gonna switch this up and let it prime up into the actual hose. And I will have to flush this hose out in my water to flush all the water out of it, which I should have done in here, but it's okay if I got a little bit of water in my primer. I'll just take my, uh, my new mixing paddle here and mix it up. All right, now I'm gonna purge the rest of the water out of here. It's gonna take just a second to get it out of this hose. It's a 50 foot hose. All right, there we go. We got our paint coming out. You wanna be able to spin the tip back around. 
I've got this setting right here in the green on my rack X low pressure. All right, we got our uh, sprayer all primed up and ready to go. I'll do a little demonstration of spraying it on this wall. And I've got my roller ready. I've got it, uh, the naps pre-wet and filled with paint so that, um, so that I won't be dry rolling here. And always make sure to wear your protection. Guys, and notice I'm not putting any pressure on this. I'm letting the roller do the work. I'm just letting it roll up the wall and just letting the gravity pull it back down. You don't want you, the more pressure you put on it, you're gonna get you're gonna get thicker lines in there. I'm just doing this to create a texture on the wall so that it is easier to touch up and blend in and it hides the sheetrock seams much easier. And there will be minor trash and fuzz in here from leftover dust and a little fuzz on the paper where the sheetrock guy sanded. But I'll go over all of this with a pole sander and smooth it out before we go putting final coats of paint on. Thanks for watching this episode of Frytac Builders and watching me set up the new Graco 390 PC and showing you exactly how I roll out this wall. Uh, stay tuned for more videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Wicked Wild Films. There'll be a link in my Facebook post and you can check me out at uh, Matt Frytac Construction and my personal Facebook is under my name, Matt Frytag. Thank you.